Two months after a crash that took the life of a local principal, plans to change some parts of Syene Road in Fitchburg continue to be discussed and developed. But some people who live in that area say these plans to change the road are coming too late. Our Catherine Merck shares what they had to say about the planned improvements. It is dangerous. Ron Golish lives near Syene Road. My kids are a little older now, but the younger on, I would never let them ride their bikes across it. Both he and Katie Selner have been vocal about improvements needed to Syene Road before the death of Beth Steffen back in January. We live maybe a block and a half from where the accident took place, so it was upsetting. They say the beloved educator's death may have caused more conversation about improvements to the road, but it's something they think needed to happen earlier. I did send an email to the city, I think in December, asking them um, to put signage. We spent a lot of time every Wednesday or Thursday and lots of hours going through it. We don't feel like any of our suggestions were taken advantage of. I spoke with the engineering firm behind the development chosen by the city of Fitchburg. Samantha Herheim says they've been hearing the suggestions from neighbors and they're aiming to include their input in the project. A lot of the residents have been very engaged throughout the entire process of the project and know that we've been looking at uh, kind of speed solutions and safety solutions throughout, um, throughout the life of the project. The current proposal calls for lowering the hill to reduce a blind spot on Syene Road, among other improvements aimed at slowing traffic and providing more safe pedestrian crossings. There will be more opportunities for pedestrians and bicyclists to utilize the road. Moving forward, both Katie and Ron say they think this improvement is headed in the right direction, but a life was lost in the process. It certainly will help, I'm sure. I feel like they're trying to fix something they could have fixed initially. Reporting in Fitchburg, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. The deadly crash that killed Beth Steffen was acknowledged during this week's public meeting about the changes to Syene Road. Engineers working on the project say they will review more data about that incident once it becomes available.